happy Thursday <laughs> hi guys so nice to see you again so yesterday we talked about tally marks and I thought today would be a great opportunity to teach you how to add using tally marks so remember how I drew all of my um, very weird looking ladybugs yesterday and then I switched over to hearts because they're so much easier to draw well I'm gonna try those ladybugs one more time and then I'll switch back to hearts. So if we look at our class worksheet from today, on the top of the page, we have two ladybugs. I think I'm getting a little better at them. Two ladybugs. Being added to another two ladybugs. I'm just going to draw it. Eh, I'm going to say without the circles, but it's okay. There we go. They're not so terrible. So if I were to add these two, well, this is two tally marks and another two tally marks. So if we draw our tally marks together, we have one, two, three, four. So that's one, two, three, four, or Four. So we have four in total. It makes it much easier to count. Okay? So that's pretty much all it is. Let's do another one before we get to the worksheet that has a few extra ones in there. So let's erase because I really don't want to draw any more ladybugs. So how about this? I know you saw that yesterday I put smiley faces on your worksheet. So let's do smiley faces again today because they're much easier for me to draw. So if I have one, there we go, a bunch of smiley faces, happy kids just like you guys, and here we go. And I want to add these up. Well, on this side, how many tally marks would I need to represent my smiley faces? I heard you, say it louder. That's right, four. One, two, three, four. And on this side, I'm gonna have, that's right, three. One, two, three. But remember how we wanna group them in those mama bear hugs? So let's count five of them. One, two, three, four, and take that fifth one. Okay, so now we're going to do one, two, three, four with the mama bear hug and the leftovers on the outside. So how many is that all together? That's five, six, seven. So that makes seven. Remember, we start at five and then we count to six, seven. We use our tally marks to start counting. Okay, how'd that go? Don't worry, we're gonna do a few more. We're gonna keep going the ones from the worksheet today. Okay, remember ladybugs are for class, smiley faces are for homework. I just used smiley faces to show the extra example today. I'm gonna erase. You sure? Okay. So, we have, remember, I'm gonna replace my ladybugs with hearts. Don't get confused, I promise. They mean the same thing for us. So we have one ladybug, another ladybug and another one, and then we're gonna add another few ladybugs. Remember my hearts represent ladybugs, because I'm not so good at drawing them. So, how many tally marks do we need to draw? We have one, two, three, and if you wanna not write the plus sign, guess what? It's even easier, because then we go another three right next to it, one, two, three, and you can circle that mama bear hug, the five of them. And we can rewrite it as one, two, three, four, mama bear hug, and the one left over on the outside. So remember, the five are one big family, okay? One big mama bear hug. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So that would be six, okay? How are you guys doing? Oh yeah, I think we should definitely do another one. Don't worry, that one was a hard one though, I promise. So let's do the next one on your worksheet. 
So we have one heart plus another few hearts. But we don't know how many are over there. Or do we? You guys are so smart. So we have one tally mark for here, and then we need a tally mark for this heart, a tally mark for that heart, and a tally mark for that one. Wait a minute. I didn't even have enough for a mama bear hug. So I don't have a mama bear hug. I don't have a set of five. I just have one, two, three, four. Okay, so you're gonna draw the number four on your line. Number three. It says four plus three. I don't have any shapes here. Do you know why I did that? I wanted to make sure you guys weren't just counting your shapes. I didn't want you guys to do one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's six. Or one, two, three, four. I want you guys to practice making those tally marks. So if I have four here and three here, we're going to do one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. And I need how many for my mama bear hug? My set of five. That's right. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five and circle them. So that's the same thing as saying one, two, three, four, five, and how many are left over? That's right, two. So that's five, six, seven. Remember, the only reason I cross my sevens, they're no different than yours, is because I don't want them to look like alligator mouths. Two more problems and then we're all done, okay? I promise. Well, can I erase? Are you guys ready? Number four. It says, and. So in this case, I don't have any extras on this side. I just have how, what? That's right one big mom bear hug or a set of five. I'm gonna now call them set of five. I'm not gonna call them mama bear hugs anymore, okay? So we have a set of five and four more. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four. So let's count. We start with five and we go six, seven, eight, nine. That's right, that makes nine. So we have five plus four is nine. Great job, guys. And for the last one for today, we have one set of five and two, and then three on this side. Well, let's look at it without that plus sign. I already have one set of fives here, and let's see if I have another set. One, two, three, four, fives. That's right, I do. Look at that. So we go one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, were any tally marks left over? No, none of them are by themselves. So all we have to do now is count by fives and see how many groups we have. So we have two groups, so we go five, 10. That's right, guys. You did such an awesome job today. I'm so excited. Tomorrow, we're gonna have so much fun. We're actually gonna do the same thing, but with alligator math, okay? Um, I hope that you liked today's lesson. Don't forget to do your worksheets tonight. It's really important always that you practice math. If you don't practice, then you're not gonna get any better. I want you guys to try it on your own, okay? I hope you have a great day, have fun, get some exercise. Oh, and if you haven't done so already, I want you guys to make a card for a special man in your life because on Sunday is Father's Day. Super important that you do something special for someone. If you don't have a father, do it for an uncle, do it for a grandpa, do it for any special man you have in your life that plays a special role for you, okay? I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.